We continue with uh, the Women's Human Rights International Association. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Thirty years after the 1988 massacre of political prisoners in the Islamic Republic of Iran, it is now time for the world to soothe the wounds of a nation and bring to justice the perpetrators of that heinous crime. The, the truth about the massacre of 30,000 political prisoners in Iran has never been recognized by the government. Rather, to the contrary, the perpetrators hold senior positions in the Iranian judiciary. They include the current Minister of Justice. To date, no Iranian official has ever been prosecuted for their role in the massacre. Worse still, Iranian authorities have attempted over the years to wipe out the evidence of this atrocity by destroying the mass graves where the victims are buried. For 30 years, Iranian authorities have tried to cover up the truth. Relatives of the victims who publicly seek justice face harassment, prison, and torture. The people of Iran, the relatives of the victims, look to you, Mr. Special Rapporteur, to inquire into the truth about their loved ones. We appeal to you and to your office to speak out against the 30-year impunity enjoyed by Iranian officials. Until the truth is unveiled and the perpetrators are held accountable for their crimes, there will be no incentives for the Iranian government to change its policies on human rights, as was witnessed last week by the execution of three Kurdish activists. We therefore call on the UN Human Rights Council to set up a commission of inquiry into the 1988 massacre. We appeal to the Special Rapporteur on the promotion of truth, justice, reparations, and guarantees of non-recurrence to investigate Iran's 1988 massacre. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Madam.